How's it going? So, stock max, right? Um, if you do it the right way, I mean, I do actually, I do actually investing, so I know how to do this stuff, right? So, if you do it the right way, you will not pass um, tests, right? Because it's going to be the solution is going to be too slow. So the idea was like my first idea was to create a number of shares that you're holding, your total spend, and then profit, right? And then you basically what you do is you iterate through the days, right? Well, the first thing you do, like the easiest, um, how to say, well, I'll show you like. The trick, the trick to do it, the trick to do it would be, I'm talking about the right way to do it, right? So this is like if you actually, if you actually ever kind of need to actually do something like this, right? You want to slice, we call it temporary RA, uh, we want prices and we want to slice. Um, it's going to be index and then prices that length minus one, I think, right? So that's the key to the whole thing, right? So no, not minus one. Yeah, you see, so we have like day one, we want to find the highest price available in the remaining array, right? So we're gonna obviously iterate through it. Um, we need to create the highest number over here. Right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna iterate through it. Uh, temp array dot for each element and then We need to create an if statement. So if element is bigger than highest, then highest is equal to element, right? So this will set the highest available um, throughout the remaining days, right? Because we are forecasting, we know what the price will be, right? And, and here it's very simple. Now you do simply two sets of rules, right? If the price is lower than the highest, right? So if, uh, oh yeah, we need to do the day price as well. So let day price equals, and it's gonna be price, prices, I, right? So this gives us the day price, right? So day price gonna be one, three, one, two, right? So what are we doing? Like, so if, day price is smaller than the highest what you want to do we want to buy right so we want to number of shares plus plus and then we want to do total spend now you don't need to code with me on this because that this doesn't work it's too slow total spend is equal to total spend plus day price right so that's first condition. I'll show you how to solve it after, right? For um, end of for loop i, okay? On the, on the flip side, if the price equals, no, actually you don't need to do that, right? So if the price is equal to highest, right? because it cannot be bigger because every day we're checking to see which is the highest right if it's equal to highest what do you want to do we want to profit equals profit plus uh, number of shares multiplied by highest right and then minus total spend does that make sense and then that's going to be 
your process. Whoops, I did something wrong. Wait a sec. Oh, oh yeah, my apologies. And then because we sold all of our shares, number of shares is going to be equal to zero. And then total spend is going to be equal to zero as well, right? Because, um, because technically this is not total spend. Technically this should be your break even point. Like this is your total expenditure. Like this is, I don't know if you don't do investments, it will confuse you, but let's just say total spend is equal to zero, right? Because at this stage you already sold all of your shares and you just have to know how shares work, right? So this will be zero, right? Um, and then that's, that's it, right? That, that's, that's how to do it correctly, right? But unfortunately this doesn't work because it's too slow. So you have to basically follow, follow a algorithm. And this algorithm, do you remember like in maths, you had to learn, for example, certain rules. You don't know why they work, but you just have to learn them. So this is kind of one of those examples, right? So this is how to do it. So first set the highest price to uh, last element mm, element in the array okay to iterate through the array backwards right starting from second last element why second last because we already set highest price to the last element. So we're going to start at the second last element, right? And here, here are the rules, right? Rule. If iteration is smaller than highest, we want profit to be equal to profit plus highest minus iteration. Else set high because it, it at this stage if that's not the case that means iteration is bigger than the highest so we want to set highest to iteration and then that's it that's how you solve it right i don't know why it works because like i'm a actually i do stock trading and i'm not comfortable with the idea of being able to buy one stock at a time do you know what i mean like it's just I've been doing it for quite some time and it's very difficult for me to kind of think in those terms. So um, it's more, I think it's more of a, like a mathematical problem than actually a proper stock problem, right? So that's kind of how you solve it, right? So let's follow the steps. Number one, let highest equal to prices, right? Prices, that length minus one I think right just double check it it should be two yeah correct so let profit equals to zero let's iterate so backwards remember we're iterating backwards right so I starting from second um, last element right so it's going to be prices length minus two because we're going from one three one okay then if i as long as i is bigger or equal to zero we continue the iteration and then we're working backwards so i is going to be minus minus so end of four loop i all right so um da, 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 da. what are we doing yeah so we're just following we're just following these steps now, right? If oh we need to create the day price, right? Let day price equals um, prices i, right? So day price is probably gonna go one three one. Yes, yeah, so we see one three one, right? So if 
day price is smaller than highest we want profit to be equal to profit plus highest minus day price again i have no clue why does it work but i mean it, it works right else i think it's just something to do with the fact that you can buy only one share per day which technically means every time every time that um share does not equal to the highest you're holding that share right and then your profit is gonna be yeah 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 okay now it starts to make sense to me right yeah 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 yeah, so this move makes sense to me now, right? Because every time, every time that the highest, that the, the day price is lower than the highest, your profit is going to be um, whatever the highest price is minus the day price. And this profit, you're just accumulating it. So think about it this way, right? We know that the highest, let's say, I don't know, let's say... Uh, we, well, this one is a very good example. We know that the highest price is going to be 100, right? So we're going to buy twice in here, and then we're going to sell in here, right? So what's going to? So how do we? How do we profit? So first profit is going to be 100 minus one. Second profit is going to be 100 minus two, and then we just add them together. Basically, every single day, where Every day where the price is below highest, um, we're going to be minusing from the highest, and that's it. Now it gets tricky in here because technically three is the highest, right? But I mean, it's um, it's not at the front; it's at the back, you know. Just follow this formula, and that's it. Just don't don't even question it. You know what I mean, so highest equals today price. And then we're going to console log um, prof profit, right? Oh, whoops. I forgot to put equal sign. There you go. And then we're going to return profit. And that's it. That's how it works, basically. All right. Let's just put it in to see. It's going to pass. Again, it's very hard for me because I actually do trading and this idea of just buying one stock is just so odd. It's just so weird. I think it's just an algorithm, like it's just a mathematical formula, right? You just learn it and then that's it. You just know it, you know? Okay, take care.